Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Chroma Key in Final Cut Pro. Uh, guys, I, I think we got this a little backwards. Now I'm going to share with you how to use the keyer effect for your green screen footage, and then we're also going to take a look at the luma keyer in order to replace the sky in our footage. Let's go check that out. All right, so we're looking at how to use Chroma Key in Final Cut Pro. Let's dive in. So something to keep in mind when you are shooting with green screen, there's a couple things that you wanna be careful of, is you wanna be careful of spillover where you'll have some of the green on the background reflecting off of your clothing. So you wanna have lots of room between you and the background. You wanna make sure that if you're, if you're using a green screen that is a fabric, that you have that nice and tight, that there's no wrinkles, you know, even use some, some stuff to bungees or something to stretch that tight. And then you wanna make sure that your light is even on yourself as well as your background. All right, so let's dive into this. So we've got this clip here where uh, this gentleman is being extra goofy and we want this clip behind it to appear through. Now what we're gonna do to make that happen is go over here to the effects browser, scroll down to keying and here we have the keyer. All right, let's go ahead and drag this over to here and already we, we've got a pretty decent looking effect. Now you can see there is a bit of a, like a highlight to his jacket that is, is fairly obvious. It, it, it can get you by, but there's a lot that we can do to improve this. So let's pull up the inspector. We're gonna click on inspector, then go to the video inspector, and we'll see the effects and the keyer. Now there's a couple things we can do here. We can refine the key which we can uh, do with a sample color here. So we can just grab all that green in the corner there, just so that we're, you know, telling the program, okay, this is the green. This is the color that we want to pull out and replace with the image below it. All right, and from here, we can change the strength. Uh, we can change it to just seeing the matte view to the original or the composite view altogether. Uh, we can make sure that holes are filled so there may be a spot on the jacket where we're starting to see something spill through. In the middle of your subject, you might see some of those spots, those holes being filled in, which is good. The edge distance, this will want to look at the composite and see we can adjust this. So if we take the spill level off, you'll see that there are spots where the green is peeking through. So in order to correct that, we can drag this to the side now too much messes with the color. So we wanna find at just the right spot. It's pretty good right there. So we don't need it in this example, but this is the option to invert it, which has quite a quite an interesting effect. This color selection here can help refine uh, what color you have selected for uh, the chroma key. Lots of details in here that you can get into. So there's also spill suppression, which we can make some adjustments here. Looks like, so that white line that we've been seeing, looks like we finally are getting rid of that. And that's just taking a little bit of spill suppression and, and adjusting that. Now light wrap, this changes the amount of light that is wrapping around the subject. See if we increase that a lot, you'll see the light kind of just fades in all around. We just want that to be a, just a subtle, a subtle look. And then finally with the mix, this is the background, how much of that background that is getting mixed in with the green. And of course, we want that to be at one. All right, now that we've made all those changes, let's play this back. And that looks fantastic. Now, obviously the color of the subject is not quite matching the color outside. We can make some adjustments there to change that, you know, adjust some of the, try putting something like that on there, let's see if that works. I don't know if that's working. It looks like I found one that just kind of makes it look a little closer to what we're seeing. Obviously for this example, we weren't going for something perfect, but, but hey, we found uh, one of those options that kind of makes it work. The Luma Keyer is up next, but I want you to know that we share new videos like this all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can get notified when we release our next video. All right, we're gonna shift gears and take a look at Luma Key. So I know we're talking about Chroma Key, but there could be some times where you might be trying to do a chroma key, but turns out that luma key is what you're needing. So luma key just takes the certain brightness qualities in an image 
and replaces it. So instead of replacing a color, it, it replaces the brightness in an image. So let's go ahead and drag that in. Let's find our key, Luma Keyer. Already we can tell something's wrong. Uh, the other image is coming through, the other sky, but we don't want all that to show. So let's go to, up to the inspector, video inspector, and the Luma Key, and that's closer. Let's go ahead and adjust some of this. Good. All right, and, and in a similar way, so with the Luma key, uh, we're, we're taking a look at these settings here in order to adjust things to get the right balance with everything. So we can take a look at a couple different things just to see where it's all at. Looks like we're getting close. All right, it's looking pretty close. All right, and with all those adjustments, just taking one thing at a time, one dial at a time, one slider at a time, we can get to a point where we're happy with the result. Now there is still a few things that we can see up here where it's just kinda dancing a little bit. In order to fix that, let me adjust the timeline here. Let's hold Option, drag this up. And in this clip, we're just gonna drag a mask onto here. And we will simply draw around the spot where we're having the issues. Make sure that the correct inversion is done. Bring this one back. All right, so we masked out that small little spot where we kept seeing uh, some things pop in and out. You can do the same thing all along the horizon if you like to. I just did it to save some time because I was only seen in that one little spot. So we took a look at how to make chroma key work for our footage, and then also a way that we can uh, take a boring, bland sky and make it a little more epic. And with that, we've reached the end. Thanks for tagging along. Green screen can be tricky, but to save you time on future projects, I have a free gift for you. It's a pack of Final Cut Pro plugins to enhance your videos and impress your clients. It's worth $138, but it's yours free. Click below to get your free gift.